Welcome back. In last session, we learned that how to solve nonlinear equations using F0. But the limitation of F0 is that it cannot be used to solve a system of nonlinear equations. That means we must have only one equation and one unknown parameter. If we'd like to solve a system of nonlinear equations, we must use another function uh, which is called F solve and it is capable of solving equations in the form of fx equal to zero given that x and f are vectors and now we have a system of equations for example if we have a system of equations of two unknown values in the form of x times y minus 5y plus 10 equal to 0 and x cubed minus y squared equal to 2. First of all, we need to rename these variables. We rename x to be x1 and rename y to be x2 and rewrite these equations. I rewrite this and we will have x1, x2 minus 5x2 plus 10 equal to 0 and x1 cubed minus x2 squared and we can move 2 to the left hand side and change its sign and make both of right hand side expressions equal to 0. Now this is the fx given that x is a vector with components x1 and x2 and if we define this function and give it to f solve we can get this system of nonlinear equations okay let's solve the equation and find the solutions let's define f as a function of x assuming that x has two components two elements and the return value is a vector itself and the first element is x1 times x2 minus 5x2 plus 10 and so x1 times x2 minus 5x2 plus 10 and in the next row we have x1 cubed minus x2 squared minus 2 x1 cubed minus x2 squared minus 2 and that's it we define the function and if we provide some values for example 1 and 3 1 for x1 and 3 for x2 we get these results okay let's solve the equation by passing it to function f solve f and we need a starting point for example 1 and 1 we can use this starting point and the result says that equation solved and there are some other information about the algorithm and solution and we now have the solution 3 and 5 and what is the value of f and we can get it by getting the second output of this function x is the final solution and f val is the value function value for that and you see that it's almost zero and you can check it with three and five and that's it we solved this system of nonlinear equations and now that the solution is x1 equals to three and x2 equals to five or in original equation x equals to three and y equals to five and we used f solve to solve this system of nonlinear equations.